let us now see how the himalayas and the peninsular plateau as well as the northern plains have come into existence or are formed the this was according to the theory of the tectonic plates which was described and explained by alfred wegener so he explained that the entire plates the seven major plates which are present in the uh, entire landmass which were divided like that so the gondwana land and the eurasian land plates have collided with each other resulted in the formation of the himalayas as well as the northern plain in order to throw light on exactly what happened let us look into the details now so the gondwana land is comprising of the plates of the present day countries which are located are india australia south africa south america and antarctica together was once the gondwana land this gondwana land got split itself by the conventional currents which have come towards the internal land masses reactions and broke them into the indo australian plates now this plate was tilted towards the northern drift and it's moving towards the northern direction so on the northern direction we have the eurasian plate which is comprising of asia and the european land masses of the present day so when the gondwana land is plate is moving towards the eurasian plate which is already in the northern side so this gondwana land is moving towards the northern plate so in the middle we have the geosyncline the sedimentary rocks which are already present there filled with the tethys sea was started to get pressurized by the movement of the gondwana land towards the eurasian plate which is like the gondwana land is moving towards the northern part while the eurasian plate is already present there and in the middle we have the geosyncline the tethys sea so they got it to get compressed and pressurized so automatically the rocks which are present inside in the sedimentary rocks which started to get buckled up and raise up as the mountainous plains and the water which is present in the tethys sea the geosyncline procedure happened there and it took many millions of years and finally it proved the formation of the himalayas so when the himalayas were been formed and this land has been moved towards the eurasian plate finally we have a large basin a northern flank which has been formed on the gondwana land this gondwana land large basin which has been formed was filled with the deposits which were brought by the rivers which started to originate from the himalayan region and that region got filled with the fertile soil which has been eroded or brought by the soil erosion process which happened because of these rivers so that resulted in the formation of the northern plains so the himalayas have come up with the reactions or the movements of the plates which happened between the gondwana and the eurasian plate resulting in the buckling up or the compression of the tethys sea as well as the sedimentary rocks which are present in that and finally a large basin has been created the rivers which start to flow from the himalayas brought a larger soil erosion happened and this eroded soil got deposited in the plain lands resulting in the northern plains so we have himalayas which are made up of the sedimentary rocks and the tethys sea then the northern plains which are also formed because of the movement of the rivers which are moving from the himalayas towards the south of the himalayas that is the plain lands which are filled with the alluvial soil and when we talk about the peninsular part of india this is the oldest part which has been formed with the igneous and the metamorphic rocks because of the volcanic activity which happened many millions of years so if you look at the formation of the himalayas these are the youngest folded mountains which came into existence for us and even the northern plain also is very young activity we can say in the words of the geological experts in the similar way peninsular plateau is the oldest landform what we have 
for us. So the active or the young parts are the Himalayas and the northern plains, while the oldest parts are the peninsular plateau region, which can be very old when compared to the Himalayas as well as the northern plains. Now, let us understand what are the major physical divisions of India and let us see how are they important to our country and how are they contributing to our country's progress. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.